the genetic code of an important crop, plant information with the potential to improve both food and Biofuel production is now an open book. An international team sequenced the sorghum genome. We're going to remind you what that is. They did it by in record time by using methods pioneered at Rutgers University. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan has the story. Sequencing the sorghum genome and comparing it to the genetic code of related plants have yielded insights into their shared and divergent evolutionary histories over tens of millions of years. And these discoveries have implications for the future of sorghum, rice, and corn because they lay the groundwork for accelerated breeding and crop improvement. With drought tolerance encoded in its genome, sorghum grain already feeds people and livestock in Africa and other arid places. And with high sugar content in its stem, so-called sweet sorghum rivals sugarcane as a potential source of biomass for ethanol. Important traits like these could be enhanced in sorghum or brought out in other crops. One prospect that excites Waxman Institute director Joachim Messing is raising the sugar content of corn stalks so that a single field could yield grain for food and biomass for ethanol. Our uh, contribution to this could come now from uh, applying what we learned from sorghum to corn so that, uh, you know, the the land that we're using in, in our country, you know, could uh, really produce more for us, you know, both for food and fuel. The International Sorghum Genome Project took less than three years, in part because of an approach called whole genome shotgun sequencing that Messing and colleagues invented in the early 1980s. The process is complicated. The effect is a more efficient way to deal with long stretches of repetitive DNA. Advanced computational methods sped things up and helped bring the really interesting details into focus. Each panel represents one chromosome of the sorghum genome and uh, all these individual lines, they show individual genetic elements. I think the outcome of it is uh, proving that this could be applied to other genomes now. Patrick Regan, NJM News, Piscataway.